today's video the seven natural compounds every kidney patient should get more of don't miss my number one this antioxidant is so powerful it makes dialysis useless Catherine here, I'm a doctor of natural medicine and there are 7 essential nutrients that your kidneys cannot live without, literally. And get this, some of them are so powerful and so underprescribed that we have patients documented getting off dialysis just by taking them and in just 12 weeks. And you know why that happens? Because being deficient in just one of the nutrients I will show you today will literally shut your kidneys down. Let's get into it immediately with our number seven for today. Let's talk about a mineral that can be your best friend or your worst enemy, magnesium. Today, it seems like everyone and their cousin have their preferred magnesium supplement. Some like citrate because it's cheap, right? Some prefer glycinate because it helps them relax and others only take those super expensive formulations that make your poop super fancy. And you know what? That's fine. Magnesium deficiency is a serious problem. Very common medications such as omeprazole and other PPIs or your water pill or even supplementing vitamin D can cause magnesium depletion. And if you have a magnesium deficiency, it can worsen diabetes. It can make your blood pressure skyrocket. It will make sleeping impossible and it will absolutely wreak havoc in your kidneys. It's true. Magnesium deficiency is a seriously underestimated problem. Now guys, I know that this may make you want to go buy a magnesium supplement right now, but please don't. Here's the thing. Kidney disease, it makes magnesium accumulate in your blood. Yes, if you have kidney disease, especially in the advanced stages, supplementing magnesium is not safe. Instead, focus on healthy magnesium food sources, avocados, bananas, leafy greens, wheat oats, barley, and chia seeds are all great sources of natural magnesium. And if you have reasons to suspect a magnesium deficiency, get a serum magnesium test done at your next checkup. And now you might ask, how is this going to get me to avoid dialysis? Well, here's the thing. On one hand, we have patients that are getting out of dialysis by supplementing just one nutrient. But on the other, if you have a deficiency in just one of the essential nutrients I'm showing you today, your kidneys will literally stop working. Please let that sink in for a moment. The seven nutrients of today's video, if you have a deficiency in just one of them, it's not a matter of if you end up in dialysis, it's only a matter of when. And if you think this does not affect you, well, think again. More than 80% of CKD patients have one or more vitamin deficiencies. This paper is about vitamin D, but vitamin D is not the only vitamin you should be checked for. Many prescription drugs can cause nutrient deficiencies and well, if you are waiting for your doctor to test you for those deficiencies, I have very bad news for you. This is why today I will make sure you don't end up in dialysis due to a completely preventable nutritional deficiency. Now before we move on, don't forget to like, tap the notification bell and share this video with a friend who needs to know how to protect their kidneys. Up next, number six, another kidney saving nutrient medications are depriving your body of is zinc. Zinc is not nearly as popular as magnesium in the health space. But here's the thing, zinc isn't just important, it's essential. If you have a deficiency, you are risking increased blood sugar levels, frequent infections, slow wound healing, impaired immune function, hair loss, and erectile dysfunction in men. And here's the thing, every time you pop one of those blood pressure pills, more zinc leaves your body through your urine. Your lisinopril or your Vasitec or your Acupril or your Losartan, Volsartan, they are supposed to save your kidneys, right? And yet, 
all the most common blood pressure pills 90% of CKD patients are taking have been shown to cause zinc deficiency. And the whole medical establishment doesn't really seem to care. So question, how do you get more zinc? Well, there are a few excellent plant-based options. Hemp seeds are the heavyweight champion here. Cashews also bring a solid dose and even something as simple as oatmeal can help. But here's the thing, these foods might not be enough if you are taking blood pressure medications. This is why my renal multivitamin Rena Best from Rena Biotech contains zinc. You can't save yourself from dialysis if your zinc levels are out of whack. I formulated Rena Best to make sure this doesn't happen. And in this multivitamin, you will also find many other powerful antioxidants that are often ignored. Rena Best is the first and only renal multivitamin with methylcobalamin, the only safe form of vitamin B12. It also contains CoQ10, a kidney saving antioxidant you won't find in any other renal multivitamin. That's why I name it Rena Best because I generally believe it is the best renal multivitamin on the market. So next time you go to renabiotech.co to get your rena fiber, consider trying rena best as well so you can avoid the risk for many nutrient deficiencies. Up next, number 5, let's talk about a vitamin that you will really miss if you don't supplement it. Vitamin B12. I'm serious, skip your B12 supplement, you'll be so slow, the only thing moving fast in your life will be your CKD progression. That's an anemia joke by the way. If you didn't laugh, it might be because you're too exhausted from your own B12 deficiency. Anyway guys, do you know what plant-based foods have vitamin B12 in them? Does anyone know? Well, the answer is none. No plant-based food has significant vitamin B12 amount in it. Well, actually, many plant milks are fortified with vitamin B12 today. So if you drink almond milk, rice milk, there's a chance they added some B12 in them, which is great. However, it's not the natural form they usually put in there. And even if you take a B12 supplement, in most cases, what you get is cyanocobalamin. Why does that matter, you ask? There are two main forms of vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin, which is synthetic, cheap, and made from bacteria in a lab. And then there is methylcobalamin, which is the active form, the more natural form. These two are nearly identical. The only difference, while methylcobalamin contains a methyl group, cyanocobalamin contains a cyanide molecule. Do you know what that is? Well, it's the poison Agatha Christie made famous in her novels. Yeah, and of course, cyanide is cleared by the kidneys. So while the amount of cyanide you'd get from fortified foods and most supplements is generally safe, I personally wouldn't advise mega-dosing cyanocobalamin if you have CKD. Let's just not supplement poison, alright? And here's the thing. Rena Best is the first and only renal multivitamin with methylcobalamin. All the other renal multivitamins still use the cheaper synthetic form of vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin. So yeah, your kidneys will have to clear the extra cyanide these supplements contain. I mean, and this is funny. Imagine you are making a multivitamin, alright? You put sugar-free, dairy-free, vegan, non-GMO, all that stuff on the label, but you forget to mention your multivitamin contains cyanide. Literal poison. I mean, congratulations, Agatha Christie will be so proud. And sorry for the rant, guys, but I'm still pissed. Some big brand is trying to copy my formulation and failing spectacularly at it. It's true, and I won't mention the brand, but I know they are watching me, right? So next time you try to copy my homework, at least do it properly. I mean, you are selling a multivitamin. Don't ship out on the vitamins 
of all things just to get a bigger margin that's dumb that's bad business i mean that's like opening a sushi restaurant bragging all day about how fresh your ingredients are how high quality the food is and then putting filipinos in the kitchen to make the sushi okay okay it's just a joke don't cancel me i can say it i'm filipina anyway rina best is the best i may not be great at making sushi but my renal multivitamin no cyanocobalamin no magnesium stearate no additives nothing of that funny stuff in it and you know it's good because it has been on the market for like what four months and some big brand is already making a bad copy of it so be careful out there always choose the best up next let's talk about another new trend you should always supplement if you are taking a blood pressure pill like 90 percent of ckd patients are number four is vitamin b9 or folate folate is essential for the body to make red blood cells for turning food into energy and for making neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine yeah if you have too little folate going around you are going to feel like a zombie who's too tired to even zombie properly it's like you're permanently stuck in that monday morning feeling except it's every day and i know what you might be thinking i don't care about how i feel i'm just here because i want to avoid dialysis well if that's the case listen to this in one of the largest studies ever made about vitamins in ckd it was found out that your blood pressure medications don't even work properly if you don't supplement folate it's true this study proved that taking folate can slow down kidney disease progression by 44 percent when combined with an ace inhibitor i mean this may not sound like a lot but it is for a patient in stage 3 it may mean ending up in dialysis in 20 years instead of 14 yes six more years of freedom and just for a single vitamin so if you are just here because you don't want to end up in dialysis always supplement vitamin b9 folate when taking an arb or an ace inhibitor because i mean those pills your doctor said were going to save your kidneys turns out they're so high maintenance you will need several different vitamins just for them to work properly otherwise they will just up your zinc and potassium levels if only your doctor knew am i right so where to get more folate some of the healthiest sources include leafy greens like spinach turnip greens kale and asparagus and i know i know these are high in potassium which your lisinopril is already sending through the roof well i don't know what to say apart from that if you are taking my rena best already you shouldn't worry about folate you'll get more than enough from your daily rena best moving on number three as i was saying one of the main functions of folate is helping creating red blood cells but there is another nutrient that's even more important when it comes to fighting anemia this is of course iron now supplementing iron and keeping track of your iron levels is extremely important for people with ckd and not just because all the best sources of plant-based iron in your diet are also high in potassium spinach kale broccoli kale chard other green leafy vegetables it's all stuff not everyone with ckd can eat but there is more here's the thing I see new CKD patients suffering from iron deficiency almost on a daily basis and most of them, they are not receiving any treatment at all for it. Not even a renal multivitamin, just the old wait and see approach. Now guys, I know this may sound scary but it's important you pay attention to this part alright because it only takes one of the deficiencies I'm mentioning today just one to make all your efforts to avoid dialysis vain and having iron deficiency that's almost as common as vitamin d deficiency statistics say that more than 50 percent of men with ckd have untreated iron deficiency and more than 70 percent of women with ckd have untreated iron deficiency let that sink in for a moment 
you are more likely to have an untreated iron deficiency right now than not to have it. Yeah, while many doctors are starting to test their patients for vitamin D deficiency, iron levels are still ignored in most of the cases. If you have iron deficiency anemia, there is a chance your doctor is just waiting for it to get worse. I see this happening in so many of my new patients, I lost count. Yeah, I know, it's scary, but you have to know this, alright? Now, I formulated my Rina Best with some iron in it, of course, but I can't put too much iron in a multivitamin, it wouldn't be safe. If you have CKD, you need a competent nephrologist to monitor your iron levels, alright? Too many PCPs and family doctors do not know how to read the lab results of CKD patients. This is not my opinion, by the way. The stuff you see on screen right now, a professor of nephrology from the University of Pennsylvania wrote it. What he says is that reading iron levels in CKD patients can be challenging for some doctors because inflammation can false these levels. So make sure your nephrologist pays attention to your lab reports. And if you have anemia, ask why you are not supplementing iron already. Coming up next, number two, let's talk about the nutrient that's not just essential. Our number two for today is so powerful, it has been used in medical literature to actually improve renal function. Yeah, supplement this one and you might see your GFR get better at the next lab reports. The nutrient I'm talking about is selenium. Selenium deficiency is shockingly common and even subclinical selenium deficiency has been linked to kidney damage. And here's the interesting part. Correcting that deficiency has been shown to support kidney repair and function improvement. Yes, selenium is an amazing nutrient and it can make a difference. So where can you get more selenium? Plant-based sources include sunflower seeds, brown rice, and mushrooms. But the gold standard is the Brazil nut. Just one nut a day can give you all the selenium you need, and then some. But remember, selenium is powerful and you don't want too much of it. One Brazil nut a day is more than enough. And now the question is, how can selenium improve your kidney function? Well, that's because selenium is both an essential trace mineral and a potent antioxidant. Antioxidants are somehow special among nutrients because they are known to improve kidney function in CKD patients, not just to protect it. But here's the thing. Antioxidants only make a difference when you get multiple different antioxidants all together. Antioxidants are not the Kobe Bryant of nutrition, they are the team players. You want as many as possible in your regimen every day. Selenium in particular is what can make the number one entry of today's video really shine. Alright, now it's time for the heavyweight champion of kidney saving nutrients, the superstar nutrient that was used in the landmark clinical trial we saw at the beginning of the video to get patients off dialysis in just 12 weeks. Number one is CoQ10. Are you supplementing this antioxidant already? If not, take a look at this. When researchers gave high-dose CoQ10 to dialysis patients, the results were nothing short of miraculous. Over 12 weeks, 9 patients improved so much that they were told to stop dialysis altogether. I know this sounds incredible, but it really happened and it worked as we can see. That happened because if you don't have enough CoQ10, everything falls apart. Low CoQ10 can cause unexplained joint, muscle and bone pain and yes, kidney damage. CoQ10 deficiencies are super common especially if you are over 50 or if you are taking statins or beta blockers. They deplete one of the most powerful nutrients in the body. And there is a reason why in Rena Best you will find both CoQ10 and selenium. These two form a synergistic duo boosting each other's absorption and antioxidant power. 
And if you want more ways to protect your kidneys in any stage of CKD, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.